Okay, I was on the property of properties of water, and this is a part of the unit number two on biochemistry. So water is one of the most abundant um, compounds on earth, and you kind of have to wonder why that is. Why is water most abundant? And you also know that you have to have water to live. So this video is going to kind of walk you through the properties of water that make it special, make it unique, and make it something that we have to have to live and for life to continue on Earth. So, um, the water molecule actually has a neutral charge. Um, the two hydrogens and the oxygen balance out in terms of electrons being shared. Um, but there are some special properties of water that give it some special functions. And they are polarity, hydrogen bonding, which then leads to cohesion, adhesion, and a very high specific heat. So let's get into what those things, those special properties mean. So polarity is um, when electrons are not shared equally between atoms. Because oxygen has more protons in its nucleus, it causes electrons to be more attracted to the nucleus of the oxygen than to the nucleus of the hydrogen molecules. So this means that water has a partial negative charge on one end and a partial positive charge on the other end. And this polarity gives water a lot of very specific and unique functions. So here's a diagram that kind of shows you a little bit about what I mean by partial negative and a partial positive. So because this oxygen pulls these electrons to it because it's more attractive, it has a partial negative charge on the oxygen end and a partial positive charge on the hydrogen ends. And remember this is a covalent bond, meaning they're being shared between the oxygen and the hydrogen. Hydrogen bonding, um, that's another specific function of water or specific property. Hydrogen bonding is a weak chemical link between a negative atom and a hydrogen atom. So because of this property, water can attract to each other and it can create more uh, solid but not the strongest bonds that it that's important in things like DNA and um, some of the other properties of water that allow life to exist. So here's a diagram of hydrogen bonding. So remember that hydrogen is bonded to oxygen with a covalent bond, meaning they share their electrons. But this hydrogen bond is between your hydrogen molecule and your oxygen molecule or atom of two different water molecules. So hydrogen bonded to oxygen, partial positive to partial negative um, to create that hydrogen bond. Because water is a polar molecule, it is able to form multiple hydrogen bonds, which accounts for many of the, wa the special properties of water. Um, because it can do this with different things, it's not necessarily water to water, it makes water unique. 